Hello and welcome to the walking talking topic on quadratics question number seven with me Mr Barton it's our last video in this series so let's go out on a high with some fairly nasty work right show that x plus 2 squared plus 3x plus 1 minus 11 can be simplified to give that right so let's work with this left hand side and sort each bit out in turn so I've got x plus 2 squared now when I'm doing x plus 2 squared I'm going to write that out as a double bracket plus 3 lots of x plus 1 minus 11 and I'm just going to deal with each bit in turn and hope it simplifies nicely to leave me with what I need okay x plus 2 times x plus 2 so I don't mind what order you do these, but I go for this. x times x is x squared. x times 2 is positive 2x. Two, 2 times x is positive 2x. Two, 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 3 lots of x, 3x. Three, 3 lots of 1, 3, minus 11. OK, let's see what we've got here. We've got x squared. No other x squareds going around. 2x plus 2x is 4x plus another 3x. That's 7x, 4, plus 3 is 7, take off 11, 7, take off 11, minus 4, which is exactly what we wanted. Nice. Okay, next one. Solve the equation x squared plus 7x minus 4 equals 0, giving your answer to two decimal places. As soon as you see that, that is a golden kind of shining light that says it's got to be a formula job, quadratic formula. It would not ask you to solve to two decimal places if the quadratic formula was not involved. So write down your quadratic formula. That's given at the front of your uh, exam paper. And then write down what your values of A, B, and C are. So A is your number of x squareds. In this case, 1x squared. B is your number of x's. In this case, positive 7x's. C is your number at the end. And it's not 4, it's minus 4. Be careful with that. And then show the examiner that you've entered your values in. So minus B, so minus 7 plus or minus the square root of b squared, 7 squared, minus 4 times by a, which is 1, times by c, which is minus 4. Put your minus 4 in a bracket. All divided by, make sure that division sign goes all the way across, 2 lots of a, 2 lots of 1, or just 2. Okay, I'm going to run out of space here, but I'll try and squeeze it in over here. So we get minus 7 plus or minus now I like to just test myself here I like to work out my square root in my head first and then see if the calculator agrees it's just like a double checking mechanism 7 squared is 49 and then I've got minus 4 times 1 times another minus 4 minus times a minus is going to give me a positive and 4 times 4 is 16 so I reckon I've got 49 add on 16 which I think what's that like about 65 or something like that yeah, I think so. <laughs> we'll soon find out. So I'm going to work out my square root. So 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times brackets minus 4, close me brackets, 65. Phew. That would have been embarrassing. Square root all over 2. All right. So now I've just got to make sure I get my two answers out. So there's two options. It's either, and I'll just come down here for this, minus 7 plus root 65 over 2, or minus 7 minus root 65 over 2. And you just got to enter both of those into your calculator. So, do the first one. Minus 7 plus, so you can't quite see that, can you? Plus, uh, in fact, I'll do it as a fraction. I'll, I'll start again so you can see it. Fraction, minus 7 plus root 65, come down here, divided by 2, press equals, Press your SD button. I'm getting 0 0.5311 equals 0 0.5311 dot dot dot. What's it asked it to? Two decimal places. So that's 0 0.53. Let me answer for the first one. And then if this is entered into your calculator, you can actually just hop back up and change your plus to a minus. Saves you a bit of time. And that's going to equal SD button minus 7.5311 dot 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 to two decimal places minus 7.53 is looking quite good for that one okay and then finally they have to end with a nasty one here factorize 5x squared plus 22x minus 15 and hence solve the equation where it equals zero okay now i've chatted loads about these throughout these videos so i'm just going to hop into how i do these I'm going to say it's got to be, if it's 5x squared, it's got to be a 5x and an x. So that's not too bad. They've got to multiply together 
to make minus 15. So one's got to be positive, one's got to be negative. I reckon threes and fives are going to be involved. And I need 22 x's. So I've got to make sure that I get a load of positive x's. So I really want my 5 x's multiplying by something big. Because if I say I put a 3 there, I'm on 15 x. I'm not going to get up to me 22 x, especially seeing as the other thing would need to be minus to give me minus 15. So I reckon that's got to be a positive 5. Because I do 5 x times 5, I get positive 25 x's. And I think if that's minus 3, I get x times minus 3, which is minus 3x's, and 25x's, take 3x's, give me 22x's. So that's looking good there. Now, I've just got to solve the equation. So either 5x minus 3 equals 0, or x plus 5 equals 0. Well, this is the nice easy one. x plus 5 equals 0, so x equals minus 5. But this isn't too bad either. Just solve it as an equation. Add 3 to both sides, 5x equals 3. Divide both sides by 5x equals 3 fifths, or 0.6 if you prefer. Done and dusted.